Hey, what up? It's Josh from Loot Fam. We are here today. We've got a thrift haul for you. So we hit up some yard sales and some thrift stores this weekend, and uh, we didn't do a whole lot of filming of those actual places. Uh, we were sort of in and out pretty quick. But I got some crazy loot for y'all. I want to show you guys. Got some sick fire finds. Uh, some stuff that I was shocked about. I think you'll be really interested to see. So let's check it out. Got this green shirt. Oh, it's just a green shirt. No, it's not a green shirt. Check this out. This is how you know it's not just a green shirt. That's a Masters logo, y'all. Masters National Golf Shop Extra Large. Great size. Uh, basically, anything with Masters on it sells, guys. If you find Masters anything, it's gonna sell for a strong price. Look for those Masters logo. Masters logo again. Now the Masters is over um, for this year, so it's not as in demand, but it will sell. I guarantee you that, no doubt about it. Next, we got some shoes. Look at these boots, all oh, ratty boots, right? Nah, these are a Solo, and a Solo is a great brand. I recently bought some, uh, picked some Solos up from the thrift store uh, about three months ago and we sold them for I think $79. They were much better condition than these. These are a bit, these are quite a bit worn. I'll just clean them up a little bit and probably sell them for 30, 35 bucks. All right, dig some, dug something up. We had to wash this one. This was actually from Florida. So this is actually not from this weekend, but it's still something I want to show you guys. Pretty plain, right? This is like a, it's a Tommy Bahamas or a pretty plain, kind of boring Tommy Bahama until you flip and dip. Bam, look at that. That swordfish, sailfish, crazy. King's Club, Tommy Bahama, Bahama Poker Room open all night. And it's got some crazy, crazy buttons. Tommy Bahama, that when it's like specially unique, it's got crazy embroidery. That stuff does really, really well. Look for that stuff whenever you find it. Typically, Tommy Bahama is a, you know, but when you find it with that type of embroidery, that type of uniqueness, you're gonna get some money. We're expecting $30 plus out of that one. So here's some little basics, all right? Some real basic basics. These are like your bread and your butter. You're gonna buy these for cheap and you're gonna sell them for five times your money. We got Crocs, more Crocs, more Crocs. Now Crocs are not the highest selling resale item you can find, but those for $2 a piece. They'll go up for like 18. They're super cheap to ship. Easy money, they sell, they're still very popular. Those are a little bit more trendy. So we'll probably sell those between 18 and $22. That's all right with me. I can live with that type of money. <laughs> For all you ladies and gentlemen out there that have fine tastes and have shoes specifically for driving your fancy rich cars, or you just think it's cool and you wear them like I do. We got some Donald J. Pliner driving shoes. I love driving loafers. In fact, they're literally my favorite shoe right now. I'm wearing some right this second. And so I saw these, these are not my size, unfortunately, but these are a good brand. They probably originally sold retail value probably in the $150, $160 range. These have somewhere, nothing particularly major. I'm gonna polish them up, get a fresh coat of polish on them, clean them up a bit. The last comp I saw for these exact shoes was $38. I'll probably get somewhere like $25 to $30 just because um, just because they do have some wear. If they clean up real good, maybe $32. If you're into high fashion, luxury, get yourself some driving mocks. All right, all right, all right. So I know I'm bringing some stuff up that's a little bit old. We picked this up while we were in Florida a couple months ago. I haven't shown anyone this, but it's a really important thing for you to be on the lookout for, okay? This. Nintendo GameCube controller, Wave Bird. Remember that name, Wave Bird. Wave Bird. All right, it's the wireless GameCube controller. All right, these things, and this thing is in good condition. It's a little dirty, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. But these things go from anywhere between 40 and 60 bucks. These things are hot items right now. Um, they do have batteries, they're not, no, no battery packs, but these things are really hot. Good money for these. I've got one. I've got one. Uh, got one receiver and one transmitter, um, and I've got a whole extra controller. So this is all a part of that GameCube lot that I've been re referring to for the last uh, few videos uh, that I got for about ten bucks, making oodles of cash. All right, now for the big hitters. Oh baby! 
Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not 12, I'm not 11, but I can still get down with some Legos. Picked up, gosh, it feels like 25 pounds, I don't know what it is exactly, maybe it's 20 pounds, of Legos from various sets. I got probably like 30 to 35 minifigures. Now, I think it's a good time for the tip of the day. Tip of the day is always buy Legos. Always buy Legos. Now, don't always buy Legos for whatever price. If obviously, if they're gonna charge you, you know, 200 bucks for that, it's not worth it. But if you can get that for 20 bucks, 30 bucks even, you're gonna flip that for hundreds of dollars, potentially 200 bucks, depending on what, what sets are in there. I've got some good sets in there. There's some Star Wars in there. There's some uh, Avengers and stuff in there. Some more highly sought after stuff. Throw that stuff in there. Make sure you, if you, if you have the booklets, which I do, reference the numbers, uh, the set number, and put that thing up on eBay for 150 bucks as a big lot and watch the cash roll in. Always be on the lookout for Legos. I feel a little bit bad about this one, but I was, you know, I was working through the men's shirts and I have my left ear here, you know, oh, daddy, let's get some Legos. And this kid was obviously, obviously had discovered some Legos. I heard that wonderful word, Lego, in the distance and uh, of course, I immediately perked up and I uh, dropped what I was doing and I slid over to the toy section. The kid chases his dad off where his dad was in the books or something. And yeah, I just copped all the Legos. It's like two whole boxes for eight bucks a piece. Feel a little bit bad about that one, but hey, I needed it more than you did, kid. All right, we got a, another heater here. Uh, I showed this off uh, one time. I'm on a Facebook Live, but now we're not doing that no more. I'm gonna show you guys this heat because it's particularly relevant right now. Boom, baby. Cleveland Cavaliers, NBA. This is a Logo Athletic hoodie, zip up hoodie. Got that embellishment right there. This thing is vintage fire, man. I don't, this, this logo, man, this reminds me of like late 80s. And the Cavs are in the finals for who knows how much longer, maybe just two games, who knows. Um, this is an X size XL. This is, a, this is a great piece. It got it. It was a little bit dirty. Cleaned it up some. And I think we're going to get, you know, 40 to 50 bucks out of this fire. So maybe even more than that. I might start at 70 to see what happens. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> You've got to peep this absolute fire grill. That is right. What in the world is this? We got that Grave Digger. Monster Jam, look at that thing. Wow, 2004, this is from 2009. Look, I passed that over. I'm not super into monster trucks. But I passed it over, thought it was just kind of this hokey little de deal. Then my reseller mind came on and says, yo, you better look, you better check first. Check or you will wreck. Check or you will wreck. So I checked it, I looked it up on the eBay app, and no joke, here was the price. O M G. 115 sold, and that was a large. Now I've got an XL, so I'm thinking I might get 130 out of that thing, dude. What are you crazy? I did not expect that from a grave digger shirt. Cut the thing for 250, y'all. That's what this is about. That is what eBay reselling is about. Finding grails like that. Oh, uh, dope piece. I would never wear it. Got another hit for you. Look at these. What are those, right? No, these are these are Riker anti-stress. These are like some European brand. I looked up comps on this. They were selling for 30 bucks. Made in Romania. $30 with uh, plus shipping. Easy money. Now this one's kind of interesting. This one is Lloyd's of Europe International. It's the Emery model. No exact comps for this specific shoe, 
but Lloyd's is like a vintage high class shoemaker. Um, and the Lloyd's shoes that were selling were selling in the $70, $80 uh, range. These are in good condition. I'm going to clean them up and list them for like 60 bucks to see what happens. That is everything we got on the weekend. Hope it got the wheels turning for you. Give you some targets to look for in the thrift store. When you're digging through those trenches, there's just so many things that you don't expect to have value that may have value. So remember that. Check or you will wreck. All right, y'all. So like, comment, subscribe, help us out. Uh, we'll keep making these videos for you. Hope you enjoy. We'll catch you later.